Hello you guys, welcome back. I hope you guys had a beautiful weekend. I hope that you guys were able to get some rest. This is JJ and this is a bigger card. So there's a lot going on, especially with the whole situation with CERN and you know, um, everything that they're trying to do. This is everywhere on TikTok, on IG, it's everywhere. So I wanted to bring some guidance at this time uh, to the collective to see what, do you, what it is that you need to hear during this time right now, like always, because, you know, we need to say it. This is all for entertainment purposes, okay? And this is also a general reading, so only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I had to cover my tracks on that part. But like always, timestamps, how to book a reading, how to book a coaching session with me, all of that is always in the description box below. With that being said, we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. I am working with new oracles, so that I got this week weekend so i'm going to show you the names just because i know a lot of you like to know what decks i'm using again this is the hidden realm of the fairies tarot and the oracle that i'm using is the rose oracle and then let me see the rose oracle okay just want to give them to you in order and then we have the sacred light oracle and then the orangey one it's the angel guide oracle so those are the oracles that I'm using along with this tarot deck right here. So I hope that you guys, um, yeah, I hope that you guys got that and I will see you guys in your selected pile. Bye. Hello, pile number one. Let's see what is your guidance during this time. Um, let's have a look. Remember that the Lion's Gate portal is also open, I believe, already. Um, or soon it will be open. That will be over on Patreon. But I'm also going to do one here. But let's see what is your guidance. Let's see. What do we have? We have the return. A new story. You decide. Alignment is coming together. Okay. So for many of you, pile number one, there's something you've been wanting to create. There's something you've been wanting to achieve or you want something. You've been attracting something. There's something here that you've kind of been asking the universe, like, will I get it? Will I not? Is it meant to be? Is it not meant to be? You know, this could be a person, a job, a there's it could be so many different things. But for many of you, you're gonna have a opportunity to make a judgment call. This is what it feels like. It feels like the two of swords, it feels like the two of pentacles type of energy where you're going up and down and kind of like trying to decide for some of you you're in hopes that this situation will return you're in hopes that you know things will align for you and things will come together beautifully and you will have that opportunity for others of you you know this opportunity will come in regardless but it will be your decision you will decide whether you want to renew this whether you want to align with this again or you know, are you going to choose a new story? Are you going to recreate a new story, a new narrative in your life? So again, it might be surprising. And this has a, that's, oof, hold on. This has been happening a lot in my personal life, um, where things have been popping up from the past, you know, and not just people, but also like, let's say readings that I took like back in like, 2018 and things like this and i'm like whoa like why is it coming back up and again this is making sense it's like things are returning to you but again you're in a position of power the decision is yours and that's what spirit wants you to know in this reading right now that if things from the past do come back it is always up to you you are a sovereign being and you decide what is good for your life and what is not for some of you Maybe that thing or that person, that opportunity that is coming back around, maybe now, yes, you're in alignment, but maybe you don't want it anymore. And that's okay. It's okay to say no. It's okay for you to be like, you know what? I outgrew it. I don't want that anymore. Um, and if that's the case, again, you still will be in alignment to a new story to recreate things and know that things will be coming together in harmony for you. But for some of you, yes, there is something beautiful blooming. This could be a relationship as well, but it doesn't have to be, okay? It could be a friendship. It could be many different things, but there is something returning to you. Yeah, and whatever, the, this card just flipped as I was picking up the pile. For some of you, this is something from the past because the Nine of Wands is through my Ringer card, right? You guys know this if you you are my, like, my, my peeps from the beginning. You guys know this phrase, through the Ringer. Um, and so we know that the nine of wands 
that um, it's a card about fighting, right? It's a card where we've gone through all the wands and we are just defending something. We're holding on to something, right? That's usually, I see this card as, like I said, is one thing after another, but also it's a card about like, I don't want to give up. It's a card about not giving up. It's a card about knowing that the miracle or the thing that you want is right around the corner, right? But it, but it is a card about you being frustrated, you being tired, you being like, you know what? I don't know. Should I just throw in the towel? That's for, That's where you are probably at this time this is where many of you in pile number one are probably at you're like should i and that's why spirit is saying you have this decision this decision will come in where something will be will return something that you've been fighting something that you've been working at but at the same time it is something that has been frustrating you and it is something that you've been contemplating like should i wrap this up throw in the towel and call it quits kind of thing okay but also the nine of wands does bring this element of hope of like keep pushing type of thing, right? We have the crowning and this is all about initiation, thresholds, birth, rebirth, a seat at the table. For some of you, you're going to be, there's something coming back and you are the one who is, you are the table and you decide who is allowed to sit at your table, pile number one. And the thing here is, for many of you, like I said, you're going to have an opportunity to either birth or rebirth something. So again, it's like, nah, I want something completely new. No, I don't want this anymore. Or yes, I want to rebirth this. Yes, I want to recreate this. But at the end of the day, the message is very clear. You are a sovereign being. You decide who or what sits at your table. And if someone is not allowed to sit there, that's okay. You don't have to break bread with them. That's okay. We have energy attachments. There might be something here. I believe this is Shiva. I could be wrong, you guys. If I am, I'm really sorry. Um, but 13, this this death energy, this Pluto energy coming through. Again, this energy of like releasing. For many of you, there is someone or something that you had a strong energetic attachment to. Okay, there was a strong energy exchange to this situation, this place. As I said that, there was a message that came through. So that is confirmation for someone. But I feel like at the same time, this was a situation, a cycle. And I'm seeing his hands, a cycle where it was self-sabotaging in some way. And for many of you, like I said, maybe this person has changed. I don't know. Maybe they're a water sign. Maybe you're a water sign. But whatever this is, it was very connected to your root chakra. I'm seeing this as like the root chakra, but at the same time, it wouldn't allow you to speak your truth. It was whatever this was is a negative influence. And if that's the case, you still have power to decide. I'm no one to tell you. I am no one to tell you what it is that, you know, is best for your life. Only you decide what is best. This is just guidance. But Whatever the situation was, it is. it does say that, that it was a negative attachment, okay? Um, it was something that was not a good influence. We have the angelic realms. Look at that. A team effort. And I feel like your team wants you to know that there is a team effort here. And there has to be a team effort in this, in this reunion or this return of whatever this is. It cannot be that you're just the only one giving and giving energy. That That's not the way it works. It has to be reciprocal. And if it's not, then it's okay for you to say no and to walk away. But just know that also the angelic realms are supporting you in order for you to start a new beginning with the number one being here. You're receiving validation. So for some of you, if you decided to be like, yeah, someone returned from the past. It was very chaotic. It was draining. I decided to cut cords because it was a very strong attachment. And I decided to do my own thing, to write a new story for myself, go on a different path. This is validation. And if you're like, I don't see things moving forward. Your guys are saying, it's okay. Be patient. It's all working out. It's all coming together. It's all aligning for you. Okay, pile number one. And your last card here is manifestation. I love it. You manifested this new beginning. You manifested this new chapter in your life. And you've been letting go of the things that no longer serve you. These strong attachments to your, to your, um, to your root chakra as well. Be open to receiving. Again, know that your guides are supporting you. Know that you're at this initiation. You're at this threshold. 
and you're going to be okay. If the past returns, it's just returning for a while in order for you to make the decision that is in alignment with you, not with them. Again, you are deciding who sits at your table. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Let's see what is your guidance during this time. Let's see. We have trust the seasons. Okay, such a beautiful image. This deck is so beautiful and so stunning. Um, embracing change, cycles of life, transition and growth. So you're going through a cycle. You're There's something that you're going through. And this message has been coming up a lot uh, for many of us. There is this like, um, you guys are in between this... Um, I don't want to say death and rebirth because that's not what I'm picking up. It's just like a shift. I'm seeing the six of swords in my third eye. So this is letting me know like you're in a period of moving away from something to move towards calmer waters. I feel like the message for you right now during this time is actually to not fear change, to go with the change, to know that there are cycles that are being wrapped up in your life for a reason. You're in a period of transition, you're in a period of growth, and with growth and transition, it does come with discomfort. It does come with the unknown, and so it creates fear. It creates this like um, worriness within us, right? Especially when we can't or can't quite see what is ahead of us but just know that you need to trust the seasons whether this be a season of your life where you're resting whether this be a season of your life where you're creating whether this be a season of your life where you're working really really hard you know whatever it is trust the seasons trust your cycles in your life and also honor the cycles within your own life if you feel called to rest if you feel called to maybe work on something honor that honor your intuition honor your um, your own intelligence within you. So let's see. We have healing the mother line. So for many of you, you are doing a lot of mother healing. Okay, a lot of ancestral work going on here. We have growing up. So for many of you, you are growing emotionally particularly and mother energy divine feminine energy it is the moon energy which again it's about seasons it's about cycles right for many of you maybe there has been a change in maybe your hormones okay or your menstrual cycle that's for some of you but for others of you you are working through some blockages around the heart chakra around um as well as you know the feminine in your life the feminine the divine feminine side within you there is this like energy of also you know healing that womb energy as well okay that is important we have here archangel michael showing up for you guys pile number two and number three being the empress right in tarot so again there is this know that you are protected while you work through your seasons while you work through these cycles of your life for many of you you're stepping into a new cycle and the cycle is going to provide you with a lot of growth with a lot of abundance with a lot of prosperity because divine feminine to me is always about attracting but for some of you you're stepping out of the masculine energy and you're stepping into the feminine energy which is requiring some adjustment because with the masculine energy it's all about going getting things done making things happen and for many of you you're transitioning into the divine feminine energy where you are attracting you're calling in the things that you want to you and for many of you this can be a little bit um, like I said an adjustment because you're so used to doing things and spirit is saying like you don't have to work so hard okay know that I'm mean, now I'm getting that song living on a prayer and with that song like if you listen to the lyrics it talks about someone having a hard time. Absolutely. But what I'm getting with it specifically is living on a prayer. It's like trusting, right? Trusting that you will be okay. Trusting that you will be provided for because you are attracting this to you. You don't have to go out there and seek it type of thing. Okay. Things won't be so hard for you anymore. Things are just flowing in. And for some of you, again, that might take an adjustment that might be a little bit challenging, but that's okay. You're just moving from one cycle to the next. For others of you, you're moving from a cycle of you know being a student to being a teacher from you know 
uh, having to get, let's say, I don't know why I heard credentials and now you're moving into the work area and I'm having to teach this or to, you know, go out there in the work field and claim your position in the world. But it's like, you are protected. There's a lot of synchronicities. There's a lot of signs, maybe hawks as well. Maybe you've been seeing Archangel Michael a lot. Consciousness, number seven, self-awareness, personal realizations, prejudice. There's a lot of like, um, you know, there's a lot of internal realizations happening here if you take a moment, right? Because the divine feminine energy is all about connecting within. It's all about, you know, getting in tune with our intuition, In order for you to move forward with the number seven being here. And maybe there is a lot of, you know, a lot of maybe negative energy around you at this time in regards to other people. But have compassion with yourself. Don't hide your own opinions. Your guides are saying be open to new experiences. You're becoming more conscious of your own actions as well. For many of you, you are changing um, the prejudices within you, the ones you were brought up with. And you're becoming aware of them. And again, you're becoming aware of them not to you know, make you feel bad or anything like that, but it's for you to change them. And this could be in regards to anything in life. You're becoming more conscious of it. We have angelic protection, you guys. Didn't we have the same thing here? Divine protection. You are protected to speak your truth, to voice things out. You are protected during this change of cycles at this time. We have the three of cups. Gather um, with other people, with like-minded people, as well as the three of cups it does talk about celebration. It does talk about happiness. It does talk about having a good time. It talks about maybe, you know, going out for coffee, for drinks, whatever it is that you do. But again, this energy of this divine feminine, allow yourself to savor the moment, allow yourself to smell the roses and to know that you will be protected while you take some time off or while you play or you enjoy the things that you worked for. Okay, pile number two. So that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. Bye. Hello, pile number three. Let's have a look and let's see what is the guidance for you right now during this time. We have the grandmothers. Remember your roots, perspective, trust the weavings. Trust that what you are creating, what you are manifesting, it's coming true. It's coming together. As well as there is... Your, it's a lot of like feminine, right? Uh, grandmother energy here. There's a need for you to go back to basics to something. There's a need for you to reconnect con las abuelas, with your grandmothers. There's a need for you to reconnect with your roots. There's something here that <clears throat> it will help you change your perspective in whatever it is that you're weaving. Okay, at this time. We have released the petals. Transformation, death, and rebirth, shedding all change. Again, this has been a theme throughout all the piles. There is this big transformation, this big shift taking place. And for you guys, it's going to be all about your perspective, your roots, that uh, root chakra as well, and what you are weaving and what you are wanting to weave in your life at this time. There is this shedding that is happening. That's why the abuelas is telling you right now to remember your roots to go back to basics okay to go back to step one go back to the drawing board right now because everything is changing all of it and release the petals release control allow 
allow your dreams to be allow things to be woven for you golden light ray number 16 for many of you maybe you have had experienced a tower moment at this time or in the the recent past events that have been happening love and laughter receiving and giving gifts passionate projects there are a lot of projects that i feel like you've been putting in the back burner and your abuelas your grandmothers are saying it's time to weave it's time to create it's time to showcase your beautiful tapestry that you are creating here and also you know there's so much that they want to give you there's so much that they want to to provide for you this could be a change in perspective this could be new ideas this could be gifts of all kind financial the solar and the root chakra here as well there is this re um, renewed sense of passion that is coming up for pile number three and your abuelas your grandmothers are the ones guiding you helping you reminding you you know that you are capable of and that change is normal it's okay to go back to step one it's okay to start from the beginning there is nothing wrong you haven't done anything wrong it just means that you're building something that is more firm that is more stable that is going to last the test of time here also for many of you you need to believe in your power to weave to manifest to attract to create we have here number 26 sacred space yeah you need to connect back to your sacred space maybe you've been thinking about cleaning your altar maybe you've been thinking about changing your altar maybe you've been thinking about changing something in your spiritual practice your abuelas your grandmothers are saying yes there will be also a positive outcome here to your projects to whatever it is that you're currently weaving let go of control allow things to fall into place Sometimes we think like the tower being, and I teach this in my tarot course, um, we think sometimes that the tower, because it breaks things apart and it, you know, and it, like things start breaking apart, right? There's little pieces here and there, but sometimes if we were to shift our perspective, which the abuelas are saying here, if you were to switch the perspective, you would actually see that things are actually falling into place. Maybe they're not falling apart. Maybe they're just falling exactly where they need to be in order for you to see the clear picture. And I feel like that is what's going on here, pile number three. There's a lot of things that you are attracting as well. There's a lot of clarity coming in. If you take a moment to connect to your sacred space, if you take a moment to connect with your ancestors, with your abuelas, with your mother, with your with your father, grandfathers, um, I'm just saying abuelas because that's the card that's here, but know that the obstacles that you have been facing are being removed and that's why it's important that you connect back to source if you don't believe in ancestors or you don't connect with ancestors or you know whatever it is you call your higher power go back to that sacred space and you will see you will get comfort validation that you know things are falling into place they're not falling apart it's reminding me of the card that it's not happening to you it's happening for you and we have here blessings and abundance you guys you guys got this twice there's a lot of blessings and abundance coming in for you guys and that is what your ancestors want you to know that there's a lot of love there's a lot of joy there's a lot of laughter there's a lot of passion there's a lot of creativity there's a lot of collaboration coming in for you if you just let go if you allow things to change if you allow the pieces to fall into place they're like if you allow us to guide you we're guiding you towards blessings and abundance we're guiding you towards happiness and fulfillment but you have to connect back to that sacred space in order for you to see that and to hear that message the tarot card that we have here is the king of swords so for some of you it could be a grandpa or a father figure that is stepping in from the spiritual realm uh, but also you know this is a card about clarity this is aquarius energy this is a card about truth authenticity this is a card about information communication so the king of swords is telling you connect back with us in order for you to gain the perspective and the clarity that you need in order for you to move forward with a plan with an idea in order for you to implement the information and to make the right decisions because the king of swords is 
very much a logical king. He is someone who goes based on facts and a proof and evidence and statistics and all this good stuff, right? But he also listens to his intuition and his own inner voice. And so for a lot of you, you need to retreat back to connect with your truth, with the truth of your ancestors, to regain a clear perspective in order for you to make the right decisions for you. But that is what I have for you, pile number three. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Bye.